वेलकम टू लोकसत्ता यशस्वी भव स्टूडेंट्स आई एम श्योर यू आर थ्रू विथ योर पोर्शन एंड नाउ यू आर प्रिपेरिंग योर सेल्फ फॉर द प्रिलिम एग्जामिनेशन प्रिलिम एग्जाम इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट एग्जाम बिफोर योर फाइनल एस एस सी बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन एंड इन द प्रिलिम एग्जामिनेशन वी फॉलो द द पैटर्न विच इज गिवन एज पर द बोर्ड एज फार एज जोमेट्री इज कंसर्न द पेपर पैटर्न फॉर द पेपर इज एज फॉलोज The question number one is solve any six out of seven, and the total marks allotted is six. Question number two is solve any five out of six, and the marks allotted is ten. Question number three is solve any four out of five, and the marks allotted is twelve. Question number four is solve any three out of four, and the marks allotted is twelve. And the last question is question number five, that is solve any four out of five, and the marks allotted are twenty. So as you can see from the paper pattern, the question number one is one mark question, the two is two mark question, the three is three mark question, then four and then the five mark question. For one mark question, don't directly write the answer. Show the necessary steps and or write the reason also. Do not just write the answer because one mark questions are very easy, but we the we expect you to write the answer with the steps and the appropriate reason. One and two mark questions are very easy question, so don't waste time in writing given to find and solution. You can directly start with the answer. So don't waste your time uh, in question number one and two. You can write the given to find and solution or proof from three mark question onwards. As far as the textbook is concerned, there are six chapters are in the textbook. and for each chapter certain weightage is given by the board for example for similarity the weightage is given 12 and along with option it is 15 for circle it is 10 and along with option it is 13 for geometric construction it is 10 along with option is 12 for trigonometry it is 10 and along with option it is 12 coordinate geometry it is 8 and along with option it is 11 and the last lesson mensuration it is 10 and along with option it is 12 so total is come down to 60 and with option it is 75 so this weightage will give you an idea about the, which are the important chapters as far as the board exam is concerned however do not keep any particular lesson in option you have to do cover entire syllabus don't keep any lesson or any particular sub topic in option if you have any doubt regarding any topic or any lesson still you have two months to go you can go back to your teachers in the school and get your queries cleared don't keep any topic or any option uh, a particular lesson in option as far as the first two chapters are concerned you must be knowing that they includes the theorems properties corollaries so the theorems will be asked from the first two chapters then relatively very easy topic that is lesson that is a geometric construction and the remaining three chapters based on the formulas so you have to learn the formulas which are given in the trigonometry in the coordinate geometry and in the mensuration which includes many formulas if you cannot remember the formulas then when you enter the examination hall and when you get your answer sheet on the last page of answer sheet you can write the all the formulas with the pencil If you cannot remember them, then you are allowed to write the formulas with pencil on the last page of the answer sheet before you get your question paper. So that is one way you can do it. If you can learn all the formulas, it is well and good. So the chap, so the theorems will be asked from first two lessons, and the all the last three lessons are based on formulas. Remember, for the theorem, the you have to refer the textbook method. You are not allowed to change the method. so theorem has to be uh, as per the textbook method for theorem the diagram is very important even if you write entire theorem and if the diagram is not drawn then no marks will be given to it so diagram has to be drawn and then you have to write the theorem the method has to be textbook method learn all the theorems which are given in the first two chapters for construction you can refer 9th standard textbook for basic constructions for one or two marks questions uh, there are ample of questions which are given in the 9th standard textbook for trigonometry again go back to 9th standard revise the the table where the all the values of the trigonometric ratios are given for coordinate geometry again you can refer 9th standard textbook in which the formulas of mid, uh, the distance formula the midpoint formula this the centroid uh, the property of centroid 
then the section formula for internal division and external division which is given in standard 9 textbook that you can refer from standard 9 textbook and for mensuration there are many formulas which are given in your textbook also and in 9th also so revise all those formulas in your question paper the question number one is uh, the one mark question and you must be knowing that there are no one mark questions are given in the textbook so for one mark question which are very simple but you read the textbook thoroughly because one mark question can be based on any property it can be based on formula it can be based on a corollary or a theorem let us take few examples from the circle chapter you can see suppose ab is a diameter and point c is any point on the circle then state with reason what is the measure of angle c the theorem which is given in textbook says that if ab is diameter then angle c will be 90 degree and the reason will be diameter subtends right angle at any point on the circle or you can write the reason as if ab is a diameter then arc acb is a semicircle and angle inscribed in a semicircle is 90 degree in this diagram angle abc is 60 degree then state the reason what is the measure of angle acd correct so as we know that both the angle abc and acd they are inscribed in same arc therefore measure of angle acd is also 60 degree and the reason is angle inscribed in a same arc are congruent over here the central angle the measure of central angle is 50 degree find the measure of corresponding minor arc that is axb you have learned the property that measure of central angle equal to measure of minor arc so the measure of arc axb is also 50 degree so this is how the one mark question can be asked based on a property or a theorem but make sure that you write reason also just don't mention the answer the reason is also expected over there for one mark question necessary steps has to be shown for example in case of a similarity in triangle abc bd is a bisector of angle abc the values of ad dc and bc is given and if the question is state the theorem or property using which we can find the value of ab here we don't have to find the value of ab we have to name the theorem which you are going to use to find the value of ab it can be theorem or property so in this case the answer is angle bisector property it is not a theorem as we have already discussed that there is a difference between angle bisector property and the theorem so it can be a one mark question but write the answer in complete sentence and with the reason now let us go back to the prelim paper which is given to you in that paper question number one is find the diagonal of a cube if side is given now then mensuration chapter there are so many formulas are given learn all the formulas and there are some formulas which are given in between the lesson for example this formula you know that the formula is diagonal of a cube is root 3 into side don't get confused with what formula given in standard 9 that is a diagonal of a square is root 2 into side you have to use the first formula and not the second one so if the formula is correct then you will get the answer otherwise it goes wrong similarly diagonal of a cuboid is also given in the textbook that is root of a square plus b square plus h square any question can be asked in any format second question is given an equation is given and you have to write the equation in a double in intercept form you should know what is double intercept form it is x upon x intercept plus y upon y intercept equal to 1 now your rhs is 1 so if i want rhs to be 1 my rhs in the given equation is 4 if i want it to be 1 i will divide both the side by 4 so you will get 3x upon 4 plus y upon 4 equal to 1 but in lhs numerator should have x and y here i have 3x so that 3 has to be brought down so don't forget about that so 3 you bring down so it becomes x upon 4 upon 3 plus y upon 4 equal to 1 don't leave the answer at this step because your numerator should have x and y so this 3 has to be brought down so you will get x upon 4 upon 3 plus y upon 4 equal to 1 then there are two properties which are given in the textbook in touching circles or in tangent circles they touch each other either externally or internally then find the distance between their centers so the property is if two circles touch each other externally then distance between the center is equal to sum of the radii and if they touch each other internally then the distance between the center is difference of the radii these two property you should know because the questions one mark question can be asked from this 
as the radii of the two circles will be given and find the distance between their centers if they touch internally or externally or they or the question can be asked the radii of the two circles are given distance between the center is also given and state whether they in, whether they intersect each other externally or internally or in how many points they intersect each other that way the question can be asked uh, in your question paper the in question number 1 the last question is find the volume of cylinder when base area is given and height is given to you now you know that the area of cylinder was sorry volume of cylinder is pi r square h uh, pi r square is nothing but the area of circle and in cylinder the base area, base area is a circular so you can write the volume of cylinder as area of base into height and directly put the value of 154 and the height is 10 that is 154 centimeter square don't waste time finding out the the radius from the formula pi r square then find radius and then again use formula volume so this this all these things you should know because for one mark question they are very simple they are very direct questions but they, at a time they may be twisted questions also as far as question number two is concerned uh, in the question number two third question for standard angle in terminal position uh, the terminal arm is in quadrant three what are the possible angles so we know that if the initial arm is rotated in anti clockwise direction the angle is positive and if you rotate in clockwise direction the angle is negative so first if you rotate it in anti clockwise direction the measure of angle is between 180 degree and 270 degree if you rotate in clockwise direction the measure of angle is between minus 180 degree and minus 90 degree so you are expected to write the values of the major of the angles both positive as well as the negative also but don't forget to mention the direction anti-clockwise it will be positive and in clockwise it will be negative in the next question which is based on coordinate geometry the slope of line is given the point which lies on that line is given write the equation of line so out of so many formulas which are given in trigonometry you you should be able to pick out the right formula that is nothing but the equation of line using slope point form because the slope is given the point is given so we can use the direct formula the equation of line using slope point form that is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 in the next question the radius is given and you have to find the the curved surface area of the hemisphere again so many formulas which are given in the the mensuration chapter out of which the correct formula is the curved surface area of the hemisphere is 2 pi r square don't write down 3 pi r square because that is the curve that is the total surface area of the hemisphere the last question is based on trigonometry where you have to use the three identities in your textbook they given the trigonometric identities 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta, 1 plus cot square theta is cosec square theta and sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So these three identities you should be you should know them thoroughly well. Using the first identity we can find the value of sec theta when the tan theta is given and from sec theta we can find the value of cos theta as cos theta is 1 upon sec theta. So the identities to be known, the formulas to be known thoroughly then only you can solve the one or two marks question which are relatively very easy provided you know the correct formula or the correct property or the correct the identity which is asked now in the next segment we'll discuss about the the four and five marks question which are a little bit difficult and uh, how to deal with this four and five marks questions in detail <laughs>